The future warfare, as far as I'm concerned, or even our country is concerned, is really the terrorist. We are dealing with the terrorists for the future. It's not a really a conventional army as such. Now, when we deal with terrorists, we talked about urban environment, we talked about indoor. So it would be nice if we can have an airplane, we can go into the city and search around the city, walk around the building, and then get even enter the building and go into each room to do the surveillance and uh, some intelligent operations. The small size is important because a lot of a, a, a lot of area that we are going to enter is very small, tiny space, and especially when, for example, let's talk about non-military application. Say we have a disaster, earthquake somewhere, people bury, bury underneath the building. We don't even know they will survive or they are, they are alive or they are dead. But we have to spend quite a, a lot of money just to dig the hole. Now, if we have a, actually an insect size of, of micro air vehicle, we can actually send it in, get contact with the people, even take picture or even take videotape, audio tape of the, the situation inside and will tell us what we should do the next. The Air Force actually had a mission to, to have micro air vehicle, birth size of micro air vehicle by 2015, then insect size of micro air vehicle by 2030. Ideally, we would like to have these insects or bird side of micro vehicle can do the autonomous flight. Basically, what we can tell them is that we say, go to that position and take a videotape or do some operation and bring back the information back to me. Right now, there's no, in, as far as Air Force is concerned, they have no resolution in terms of what type of shape it's going to be. But if you look at nature, Nature doesn't create propeller. Nature doesn't even have a jet engine in air. It's all in the sea. Nature, what nature creates actually is a pair of flapping wing. And why is that? Because actually, when it comes to the smaller size, that's probably the most efficient way of flying. Because you can do any prop motion, you can stop, you can make turn. The agility of the, the, the vehicle actually is, is better than the fixed wing. So I would, see it, I would say that for the future of the micro air vehicle, probably will be a, a flapping wind one. We are really at the center of all the activity, aerospace activity. We have right partisan next to us. We have a lot of emerging company right around here. If you put any university right here, it will be very much like Stanford in the Silicon Valley. And I see right states, we can take, if we can take advantage of all this environment, we can make Rice Day as good as Stanford University at Silicon Valley. And one thing I would come, when I came over here, one mission I wanted to do is to be able to build an area of excellence, not only center of excellence, I'm talking about area of excellence for UAV and MAV, because I know this is going to be the next generation of revolution for Dayton.